Hello all, this is Anita Meniratta. In this video, we are going to talk about outliers, how we can recognize them and how to plot them. So this is our data, our sales data. And these are my data points. Now let me look at minimum value of the data and the maximum value of the data because it will be helpful when we'll be visualizing it. So let me apply the formula for minimum so I'll select this array the, so my minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is I'm selecting the array again this 98,652 this is my maximum value now for looking at the outliers I should understand the concept about quartiles. So quartiles, if, we, if I look at my data points of sales on this range, which I have divided into four equal parts, I can see that my quartile one is the point where my 25% of the data lies below it. My Q3, quartile three, signifies that my 75% of the data lies below it. Q2 is my median. It divides my data into two equal parts, two equal halves. Okay, this is my 100 percentile. And this IQR is my interquartile range, which is the difference between Q3 and Q1. So now I need to calculate my outliers. So first of all, let me add some outliers to it. Okay. So my outliers are the point which are the extreme values in my data and which may affect my data analysis. So it is actually maybe because of some experimental error, measurement error, variability in measurement and it might cause some serious problems in my statistical analysis. But all outliers are not bad. They may give you some valuable insights about the data. So we have to be very careful whether we want to include our outliers or exclude. So in this video, we'll be identifying our outliers. So let me add some here. So I know that my sales value should not be in negative. So let me add a negative value. So I know that this is my outlier. Then my sales value ranges from the minimum zero and the maximum 98,652. So let me take, a, take an extreme positive value. Let's take 2 lakhs. 2 lakh 50,000. 3 lakh. So I know that the, these are my outliers. So the extreme values I've added. Okay. So here I need to calculate my quartiles. Q1. Q2, Q3. So this Q2 is my median and that. For calculating quartile 1, I have a function quartile dxc. I have to select this array and I need to calculate quartile 1. So I type 1. So it is 31,098 something. Then I, I need to calculate my median. I select my array again. My median is around 51,000. Quartile 3 is the same formula as Q1. I select this array. But this time I'm going to type 3. Because this is quartile 3. So it is around 85,247. So now next I want to calculate my IQR. Which is Q3 minus Q1. So it is 85,247 minus 31,098. So it is around 54,140. So this is my IQR. Now I need to calculate my outliers. 
applies at the value which lies beyond the lower limit and the upper limit of the data. It means they are at the extreme borders of the data set. So for this, I need to know my lower limit and my upper limit of the data set. So my lower limit is to 1 minus 1.5 times of IQR. So this is equal to my quartile 1, this value is 7 minus 1.5 times of my IQR is 10. So this is my lower limit, around 50,000. So what is the upper limit for an outlier? Recognition, it is quartile 3 plus 1.5 times of IQR. So if we quantify it, it is quartile 3 plus 1.5 times of my IQR. So the upper limit is 1,66,470. Below the lower limit is my outlier. And I also know that above the upper limit lies my outlier. So in this case, my lower limit is minus 50,125. But can sales be negative? It is not possible. So in this case, I change my lower limit to zero because my sales value cannot be negative. Now applying these arguments of lower limit and upper limit to my sales values, I can use function or. So the logical test which I need to take is that my A2 value if it is less than my lower limit, if and if A2 is greater than my upper limit, so it is false. It means that this data point is not an outlier. Copying this formula to other cells by double clicking at the corner of the cell, I get these false values. These four values, it says that the argument or says that are true for the logical test. So these are my outliers. Now, if I want to visualize this data of outlier in a box plot, I can do that. I need to select this array, go to insert, recommended charts, all charts and selecting box plot. Here is my box plot. So I just want to increase the dimension to have more clarity so that you understand the chart well. Here the minimum value is 0. You may see that this line signifies the minimum value which is 0. Here we can see that our minimum value is 0. Then this line signifies the maximum value of the data, which is 98,652. So it is around just below 1 lakh. And if you see this box, this value is the quartile 1, 31,098. This line signifies Q3 line somewhere here. This line is the median value, which is around 50,330. And this cross signifies the average value. Look at the outliers here. The dot here is the negative 1,19,000. These points above signifies data points above the upper limit. So it is 2 lakhs, 2 lakh 50,000 and 3 lakhs. So here. These outliers are been plotted here. So this is how we can see, we can visualize our outliers. So thank you very much for watching the video.